Hello everybody, welcome to Attic Gaming. This is Burden, and I am going to be showing you the Aetherized Weapons today. Now, I wanted to show you these because I think they're freaking awesome, and you just need to see them. Uh, you can see them at, in Lion's Arch near the training post where the other weapon vendors are, uh, like the Dragon Jade weapon vendors and things like that. Now, other than just showing you the weapon skins, I wanted to show, I wanted to talk about uh, a few things as far as these weapon skins go for the updates and the changes that ArenaNet has been making, which I think are extremely positive to the game, and I'm glad that uh, they're starting to make these type of changes because a lot of people have been complaining about the RNG and just how ridiculous it can be sometimes. Oh, look at that hammer. Isn't that... That hammer's amazing. This, like, one of the first hammers in the game that's actually seems more proportionate to what a hammer should actually be. Uh, there are a couple others, but a lot of the hammers in the game are pretty lacking. Uh, what I wanted to say was, I'm really impressed that ArenaNet's taken the initiative to get, not necessarily get rid of RNG, but to make it better, um, which they're doing in this patch, because what you do is, to get these weapons, you need a Black Lion claim ticket, which you get out of Black Lion chests. So it's the same thing as like, RNG opening up the chest and trying to get the claim ticket. But instead of just not getting a claim ticket, uh, and there's just nothing inside, what you get are Black Lion claim ticket scraps, just like the fortune scraps that we saw in uh, the, the Bizarre Four Winds uh, living story, where you got the, if you didn't get the uh, golden ticket, you still got kite fortune scraps, and then you gotta combine those together to get something that you want. Now, what they're doing is, if you don't get a Black Lion claim ticket in the Black Lion, uh, Black Lion chest, you get uh, scraps. Then you can put 10 of these scraps together to have the ticket. So, and like I said, instead of just there being a hit or a miss, there's still, when you open up the chest, you're making progress towards the weapon anyway. Uh, which is, I think, is a brilliant idea. So it still incentivizes people to buy the chest. Yeah, maybe you didn't get the claim ticket right away, but you're getting these scraps, so you're eventually going to get the weapon. So you don't have to buy, like, a hundred chests, or sorry, a hundred keys, and then open up the chest, and you get absolutely nothing. Now, if you want a hundred keys and open up the chest, you get a bunch of scraps, which you can combine together. So maybe you're not, uh, even if you're not that lucky in the game, you can still uh, work towards that. Another thing that they did was they made the weapons, they're not a compound, so you could actually sell them. So if you look on the trading post for the Aetherized weapons, you actually find them there. Uh, which is, I th which I think is great as well, because some people, you know, some people just buy weapons differently. Some people like to go out and earn them, like, through achievements or some sort of, uh, some sort of feat. Uh, so some people just, you know, they farm gold all the time. They have a lot of, they have a lot of money, or a lot of gold, they have a lot of in-game money, then they just want to spend gold. And then you have other people who just have a lot of real-life money who want to spend that as well. So it's nice to see that they're adding in, uh, different ways, like a nice variety to get these weapons, and I mean, just look at the weapons that I've been showing, these, these weapons are amazing, the, the weapon skins have just come so far from, uh, from some of the older ones, there's so many animations on the weapons, so look at that sword, I mean, that, I don't know, I, I know some people are, are, were upset that the sword wasn't the rapier, from like, the one my churn has, uh, cause I know some people wanted that, especially uh, a few of my guildies, but, I still think that story looks awesome. So I, I'm really happy to see the way the skins are going. And the cool thing is, is that they're not, they're not making it, uh, temporary. What it is, is you can get these weapons anytime you want in the future. The only thing is, it's gonna be a little more expensive. Well, a lot more expensive. It's gonna be about five times more expensive. But you can still, you still have the option to get it. Okay guys, this has been Burden from Attic Gaming. Thank you for listening to me rant about ArenaNet and how I feel they're moving in a very strong direction. If you like this video, please subscribe and enjoy the rest of the content. Thanks guys!